Welcome to the 27th day of our reading. Yeah, this is the 27th day. I just finished reading the 25th day video because I lost the original video. So I had to record another one. I just finished it. And here is the 27th day reading. We are reading from Numbers chapter 14 to chapter 18 today. So let's get started. Chapter 14. And the last time we read about Moses sending all these people to sending some people as spies to the land that they were to conquer. And Caleb, Caleb was the only person who had good news among the people. The others, they were skeptical. So we are we will continue today from chapter 14 and see what happens afterward. Chapter 14. So all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried, and the people went and we and people wept that night. And all the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron. And the whole congregation said to them, If only we had died in the land of Egypt, or if only we had died in the in this wilderness, why has the Lord brought us to this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and children should become victims? Would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? So they said to one another, Let us select a leader and return to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their face before the assembly of the congregation of the children of Israel. But, but Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephne, who were among them, who had spied out the land, tore their clothes, and they spoke to all the, on the, and they spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, The land we passed through to spy out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, then we will he bring us into this land and give it to us. Then he will bring us to this, into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord, nor fear the people of the land, for they are, for they are our bread. Their protection has departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. And, the, and all the congregation said to stone them with, with stones. Now the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of meeting before all the children of Israel. Then the Lord said to Moses, How long will these people reject me, and how long will they not believe me? With all the signs which I have performed among them, I will strike them with the pestilence and disinherit them, and I, will, and I will make of you a nation greater and mightier than they. And Moses said to the Lord, Then the Egyptians will hear it, for by your might you brought these people up from among them, and they will tell it to the inhabitants of the land. They have heard that you... Lord are among these people, that you, Lord, are seen face to face, and your cloud stands above them, and you go before them in a pillar of cloud by day, and in a pillar of fire by night. Now, if you kill these people as one man, then the nations which have heard of your fame will speak, saying, Because the Lord was not able to bring these people to the land which you saw to give them, therefore he killed them in the wilderness. And now I pray, let the power of my Lord be great, just as you have spoken. Saying, The Lord is long suffering and abundant and abundant in mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, but he by no means clears the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers and the children to the third and fourth generation. Pardon the iniquity of these people, I pray, according to the greatness of your mercy, just as you have given these people from Egypt until even, even until now. Then the Lord said, I have pardoned according to your word, but truly as I live. All the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, because all these men who have seen my glory and the signs which I did in Egypt and the wilderness and have put me to the test now these ten times and have not heeded my voice, they certainly shall not see the land of which I saw to their father. Nor shall any of those who reject me see it, who rejected me see it, but my servant Caleb, because he has a different spirit in him and has followed me fully. I will bring into I will bring into the land where he went, and his darkness, and his and his descendants shall inherit it. Now the Amalekite and the Canaanite dwell in the valley. Tomorrow, turn and move out into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation who complain against me? I have heard the complaints which the children of Israel make against me. Say to them, as I live, says the Lord, just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. The carcasses of 
Boo of you who have complained against me shall fall in the wilderness. All of you who were numbered according to your entire number, from twenty years old and above, except for Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun, you shall by no means enter the land which I swore I would make you dwell in. But your little ones, whom you said will be victims, I will bring in, and they shall know the land which you have despised. But as for you, your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness, and your sons shall be shepherds in the wilderness forty years, and bear the bronze of your infidelity, until your carcasses are consumed in the wilderness, according to the number of the days in which you spied out the land, forty days. For each day you shall bear your gift one year, namely forty years, and you shall know my rejection. I, the Lord, have spoken this. I will surely do so to all, the, to all this evil congregation who are gathered together against me. In this wilderness they shall be consumed, and they shall die. Now the men whom Moses sent to spy out the land, who returned and made all the congregation complain against him by bringing a bad report of the land. Those very men, those very men who brought the evil report about the land died by the plague before the Lord. But Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Jephunneh remained alive of the men who went to spy out the land. Then Moses told these words to the children of Israel, and the people mourned greatly. And they rose early in the morning and went up to the top of the mountain, saying, Here we are, and we will go up to the place which the Lord has promised, for we have sinned. And Moses said, Now why do you transgress the command of the Lord? For this will not succeed. Do not go up lest you be defeated by your enemies, for the Lord is not among you. For the Amalekites and the Canaanites are there before you, and you shall fall by the sword, because you have turned away from the Lord. The Lord will not be with you. But they presumed to go up to the mountain top. Nevertheless, neither the ark of the covenant of the Lord nor Moses departed from the camp. Then the Amalekites and the Canaanites, who dwelt in the mountain, came down and attacked them, and drove them back as far as Omar. Chapter 15 and the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When you have come into the land, you are to inhabit, which I am giving to you, and you make an offering by fire to the Lord, a burnt offering of all a sacrifice, to fulfill a vow, or as a free will offering, or in your appointed feast, to make a sweet aroma to the Lord from the earth of the flock. Then he who presents his offering to the Lord shall bring a grain offering of one tenth of an ephah of fine flour, mixed with one fourth of a in of oil and one fourth of a in of wine as a drink offering you shall prepare with the burnt offering or your sacrifice for each lamp or for a ram you shall prepare as a grain offering two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with one oil mixed with one third of a in of oil and as a drink offering you shall offer one third of a of a in of wine as a sweet aroma to the Lord, and when you prepare a young bull as a burnt offering, or as a sacrifice to fulfill, to fulfill a vow, or as a peace offering to the Lord, then shall be, then shall be offered with the young bull a grain offering of the tenth, of the three tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with half a in of oil, and you shall bring as the drink offering half a in of wine as an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. Thus it shall be done for each young bull, for each ram, or for each lamb of your or, or for each lamb or young goat, according to the number that you prepare, so you shall do with everyone according to their number. All who are native born shall do these things in this manner: in presenting an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. And if a stranger dwells with you, or whoever is among you throughout your generations, I would present an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord, just as you do. So shall he do. One ordinance shall be for the assembly and for the stranger who dwells with you and ordinance forever throughout your generations as you are so shall the stranger be before the lord one law and one custom shall be for you and for the stranger who dwells with you again the lord spoke to moses saying speak to the children of Israel and say to them when you come into the land to which i bring you then it shall be when you eat of the bread of the lamb that is of the land that you shall offer up a eve offering to the lord you shall offer up a cake of the first of your grand meal as a if offering, as a if offering of the treasuring of the treasuring floor. So shall you offer it up of the first of your grand meal. You shall offer 
you shall give to the Lord as a if offering throughout your generation. If you sin unintentionally and do not observe all these commandments which the Lord which the Lord has spoken to Moses, all that the Lord has commanded, all that the Lord has commanded you by the hand of Moses, from the day the Lord gave commandments and and onward and onward throughout your generations. Then it will be, if it is unintentionally committed, without the knowledge of the congregation, as the whole congregation shall offer one young bull as a burnt offering, as a sweet aroma to the Lord, with its grain offering and its drink, and its drink offering, according to the ordinance, and one kid of the goats as a sin offering. So the priest shall make atonement for the whole congregation of the children of Israel, and it shall be forgiven them, for it was unintentional. For it was unintentional. They shall bring their offering, an offering made by fire to the Lord, and their sin offering before the Lord for their unintended sin. It shall be forgiven the old congregation of the children of Israel and the stranger who dwells among them. Because all the people did this unintentionally. And if a person sins unintentionally, then he shall bring a female goat in his first year as a sin offering. So the, pe so the priest shall make atonement for the person who sins unintentionally. When he sins unintentionally before the Lord, to make atonement for him, and shall be and shall be forgiven him. He shall have one law for him who sins unintentionally, for him who is native born among the children of Israel, and for the stranger who dwells among them. But the person who does anything presumptuously, whether he is native born or a stranger, that one brings that one brings reproach on the Lord, and he shall be cut off from among the people, because he has despised the word of the Lord and has broken his commandments. That person shall be completely cut off. His guilt shall be upon him. Now, while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man gathering sticks on the Sabbath day. And those who found him gathering sticks brought him to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation. They put him under guard because it had not been ex explained what should be done to him. Then the Lord said to Moses, The man must surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones, with stones outside the camp. So as the Lord commanded Moses, all the congregation brought him outside the camp and stoned him with stones, and he died. Again the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. Tell them to make tassels on the corners of, the, of their garments throughout their generations, and to put a blue thread in the tassels of the corners. And you shall have a tassel, that you may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them, and that you may not follow the allotry to which you own at, and your own eyes are inclined, and that you may remember and do all my commandments, and be holy for your God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, to be your God. I am the Lord your God. Chapter 16 Now Korah, the son of Ezer, the son of Koat, the son of Levi, with Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, and on the son, and on the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men, and they rose before Moses with some of the children of Israel, 250 leaders. 250 leaders of the congregation, representatives of the congregation, men of renown, they gathered together against Moses and Aaron and said to them, You take too much upon yourselves, for all the congregation is holy, even one, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Why then do you exalt yourself above the assembly of the Lord? So when Moses heard it, he fell on his face, and he spoke to Korah and all his company, saying, Tomorrow morning the Lord will show all who is his. And who is holy, and will cause him to come near to him. That that one that one whom he chooses, that one whom he chooses, he will cause to come near the Lord. Do this. Take censers, Korah, and all your company. Put fire in them, and put incense in them before the Lord tomorrow. And it shall be that the man whom the Lord chooses is the only one. You take too much upon yourselves, you sons of Levi. Then Moses said to Korah, Hey now, you sons of Levi, it is a small thing to you that the God of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Israel. Is it a small thing to you that the God of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Israel to bring you near to himself, to do the work of the tabernacle of the Lord, and to stand before the congregation to serve them? And that he has brought you near to himself, you and all your brethren, the sons of Levi, with you, and you, and are you seeking the priesthood also? Therefore, you and all your company are gathered together against the Lord. And what is Aaron? 
that you complain against him. And Moses sent to call Datan and Abraham, the sons of Eliab, but they said, We will not come up. Is it a small thing that you have brought us up out of the land, flowing with milk and honey, to kill us in the wilderness, that you should keep acting like a prince over us? Moreover, you have you have not brought us into a land flowing with milk and honey, nor give nor giving us inheritance of field and fine yet. Will you put out the eyes of this man? We will not come up. Then Moses was very angry and said to the Lord, Do not respect their offering. I have not taken one donkey from them, nor have I ought one of them. And Moses said to Korah, Tomorrow you and all your company be, pre be present before the Lord, you and they, as well as Aaron. Let each take his censer and put incense in it, and each of you bring a censer before the Lord, two hundred and fifty censers, both you and Aaron, each with a censer. So every man took his censer, put fire in it, laid incense on it, and stood at the door of the tabernacle of meeting with Moses and Aaron. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. Then the glory of the Lord appeared to all the congregations, and the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among the congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. Then they fell on their faces and said, O God, the God of the Spirit of all flesh, shall one man sing, and you be angry with all the congregation. So the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the congregation, saying, Get away from the tents of Korah, Datan and Abiram. Then Moses rose and went to Datan and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him, and he spoke to the congregation, saying, Depart now from the tents of these wicked men. Touch nothing of theirs, lest you may lest you be consumed in all their sins. So they got away from around the tents of Korah, Datan and Abiram. And Datan and Moses came out, and Datan and Abiram came out and stood at the door of their tents with their wives, their sons, and their little children. And Moses said, by this you shall know that the Lord has sent me to do all this work, all these works, for I have not done them of my own will. If these men die naturally like all men, or if they are visited by a common fate of all men, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord creates a new thing, and the earth opens its mouth and swallows them up with all that belongs to them, and they go down alive into the pit, then you will understand that these men have rejected the Lord. Now it came to pass, as finished speaking all this word, all these words, that the ground split apart under them, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them with their households and all the men with Korah, with all their goods. So they and all those with them went down alive into the pit. The earth closed over them, and they perished from among the assembly. Then all Israel who were around them fled at their cry, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And a fire came out from the Lord and consumed the 250 men who were offering incense. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Tell Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, to pick up the censers out of the blaze, for they are holy, and scatter the fire some distance away. The censers of these men who sinned against their own souls, let them be made into armored plates as a covering for the altar, because they presented them because they presented them before the Lord, therefore they are holy, and they shall be a sign to the children of Israel. So Eleazar the priest took the bronze censers, which those who were burned up as pre had presented, and they were armored out, and they were armored out as a covering on the altar, to be a memorial to the children of Israel, that no outsider who is not a descendant of Aaron should come here to offer incense before the Lord, that it might not become like Korah and his companions, just as the Lord has, had said to him, to Moses. On the next day, all the children of all the congregation of the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron, saying, You have killed the people of the Lord. Now it happened, when the congregation had gathered against Moses and Aaron, as they turned toward the tabernacle of meeting, and suddenly the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. Then Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of meeting, and the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Get away from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell on their faces. So Moses said to Aaron, Take a censer and put fire in it from the altar. Put incense on it and take it quickly to the congregation and make atonement for them. For wrath has gone out from the Lord. The plague has begun. Then Aaron took it as Moses commanded and ran into the midst of the assembly. And, or and already the plague has had begun among the, among the people. So he put in the incense. So he put in the incense and made atonement for the people, and stood between the dead 
and the living. So the plague was stopped. Now, those who died in the plague were 14,700, besides those who died in the Korah incident. So Aaron returned to Moses at the door of the Tabernacle meeting, for the plague had stopped. Chapter 17. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and get, and get from them a rod from each father's house. All their leaders, according to their father's house, twelve rods. Write each man's name on his rod, and you shall write Aaron's name on the rod of Levi. For there shall be one rod for the hand, for the head of each father's house. Then you shall place them in the tabernacle of meeting before the testimony, where I meet with you. And it shall be that the rod of the man whom I chose will blossom. Thus I will rid myself of the complaints of the children of Israel, which they make against you. So Moses spoke to the children of Israel, and each of their leaders gave him a rod apiece. For each leader, according to their father's house, twelve rods, and the rod of Aaron was among their rods. And Moses placed the rod before the Lord in the tabernacle of witness. Now it came to pass on the next day that when that Moses went into the tabernacle of witness and built the rod of Aaron of the house of Levi had sprouted and put forth buds, had produced blossoms and yielded ripe almonds. Then Moses brought out all the rods from before the Lord to all the children of Israel, and they looked, and each man took his rod. And the Lord said to Moses, Bring Aaron's rod back before the testimony to be kept as a sign against the rebels, that you may put their complaints away from me, lest they die. Thus did Moses, just as the Lord had commanded him, so he did. So the children of Israel spoke to Moses, saying, Surely we die, we perish. Oh, the light is back. We all perish. Whomever, whoever even comes near the tabernacle of the Lord must die. Shall we all, all utterly die? Chapter 18, the last chapter. Then the Lord said to Aaron, You and your sons and your father's house with you shall bear the iniquity related to the sanctuary, and you and your sons with you, you with you shall bear the iniquity associated with your priesthood. Also, bring with you your brethren of the tribe of Levi, the tribe of your people, that they may be joined with you and serve you while you and your sons are with you, are with you before the tabernacle of witness. They shall attend to your needs and all the needs of the tabernacle, but they shall not come near the articles of the sanctuary and the altar, lest they die, they and you also. They shall be joined with you and attend to the needs of the tabernacle of meeting for all the work of the tabernacle, but an outsider shall not come near you, and you shall attend to the duties of the sanctuary and the duties of the altars, that there may be no more rules on the children of Israel. Behold, I myself have taken you, I myself have taken your brethren, the Levites, from among the children of Israel. They are a gift to you, given by the Lord, to do the work of the tabernacle of meeting. Therefore, you and your sons with you shall attend to your priesthood for everything at the altar and behind the veil, and you shall serve. I give your priesthood to you as a gift for service, but the outsider who comes near shall be put to death. And the Lord spoke to Aaron, Yeah, yeah I, I myself have also given you charge of my Eve offerings. All the holy gifts of the children of Israel, I have given them as a portion to you and your sons, and and your sons as an ordinance forever. This shall be yours of the most holy things reserved from the fire. Every offering of theirs, every grain offering, and every sin offering, and every trespass offering which they render to me shall be most holy for you and your sons. In a most holy place you shall eat it. Every meal shall eat it. It shall be holy to you. This also is yours, the if offering of their gift, with all the wave offering, of the children of Israel, I have given them to you, and your sons and daughters with you, as an ordinance forever. Everyone who is clean in your house may eat it, all the best of the oil, all the best of the new wine and the grain, their first fruit which they offer to the Lord, I have given them to you. Whatever first ripe fruit is in their land, which they bring to the Lord, shall be yours. Everyone who is clean in your house may eat it. Every devoted thing in Israel shall be yours. Every thing that first opens the womb of all flesh, which they bring to the Lord, whether man or beast shall be yours. Nevertheless, the firstborn of man you shall surely redeem, and the firstborn of unclean animals you shall redeem. And this and those redeemed of the devoted saints you shall redeem when one month old, 
according to your valuation for five shekels of silver according to the shekel of the sanctuary which is 20 geras but the firstborn of a cow the firstborn of a sheep or the firstborn of a goat you shall not redeem they are holy you shall sprinkle their blood on the altar and burn their fat as an offering made by fire for a sweet aroma to the lord and their flesh shall be yours just as the wave offering and the right tithes are yours and the eve offering of the holy things which the children of Israel offer to the Lord. I have given you and your sons and daughters with you as an ordinance forever. It is a covenant of sorts forever before the Lord with you and your descendants with you. Then the Lord said to Aaron, You shall have no inheritance in their land, nor shall, your, nor shall you have any portion among them. I am your portion and your inheritance among the children of Israel. Wow. <laughs> I am your portion and your inheritance among the children of Israel. Behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tithes in Israel as an inheritance in return for the work which they perform, the work of the tabernacle of meeting. Hereafter, the children of Israel shall not come near the tabernacle of meeting, lest they bear sin and die. But the Levites shall perform the work of the tabernacle of meeting, and they shall bear, the in and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be started forever throughout your generations that among the children of Israel they shall have no inheritance for the tithes of the children of Israel which they offer up as a if offering to the Lord I have given to the Levites as an inheritance therefore I have said to them among the children of Israel they, have, they shall have no inheritance then the Lord spoke to Moses saying speak thus to the Levites and say to them when you take from the children of Israel the tithes which I have given you from them as your inheritance then you shall offer up a if offering of it to the Lord a tenth of the tithe, and your eve offering shall be reckoned to you as though it were the grain of the treasure floor and as the fullness of the winepress thus you shall also offer a eve offering in to the lord from all your tithes which you receive from the children of israel and you shall give the lord's eve offering to from it to aaron the priest of all your gifts you shall offer up every eve offering due to the Lord, from all the best of them, the consecrated part of them. Therefore you shall say to them, When you have lifted up the best of it, then the rest shall be accounted for the Levites, as the produce of the treasure floor, and as the produce of the winepress. You may eat it in any place, you and your households, for it is your reward for your work in the tabernacle of meeting. And you shall bear no sin because of it, when you have lifted up the best of it. But you shall not prevent the holy gift of the children of Israel, lest you die. The end of today's video. Bless God. May the Lord be blessed. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Because this won't be as important. Sharing this video won't be as important if you guys are not watching it. I could be reading this. I could be reading this Bible through verses, these chapters on my own. But I've decided to share. I've decided to read along with you and make you guys read along with me. And I know all of this will not be meaningful if you guys are not watching it. So thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you'll be notified of the next episode of the next reading. <coughs> Whatever. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow on the 28th day reading. We are progressing. We are moving forward. God is with us. Bye. I will see you.